Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for August 3rd, 2021. Well, yesterday certainly turned out to be kind of a head scratcher, didn't it? With um, a big gap up in the morning and a race in, and then just as soon as we reached up here in the Dow and touched new record highs, we saw those sellers come in and push us back down. We ended up um, creating some bearish engulfing candles and probably waking up that ugly, ugly headed monster of uncertainty here in the market. Let's take a look and see if we can get some information from this. Um, see if we can decide how we might want to approach the market today in the Tuesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you had a fantastic afternoon and you're ready to get going here with the day. Let's take a look at how we might want to approach the market. Um, some uncertainty here this morning um, with the market leaving behind a bearish engulfing candle. We briefly, we briefly came up here and we set a new record high in the Dow, but then lost it just about as quickly as we got it and ended up completely reversing. Now there's a lot of issues out there uh, circulating around. Of course, the um, eviction moratorium has passed. We have um, um, uh, apparently an unwillingness of Congress to extend the unemployment benefits that will expire on the 6th of this month. So in just three days, those are going to expire. And we have supply chain issues starting to creep up with the floods in um, Europe and China um, that could affect, they're suggesting could affect Black Friday sales. We have um, jobs starting to um, show a little bit of uncertainty out there. And so the market is just a little bit, hmm, doesn't know exactly what to do with itself. And yesterday I marked this out that as we tried to break through this resistance, we wanted to watch that closely. And I also said that I don't think there's gonna to be too much of a problem unless we break down the support. Well, it ended up yesterday, that's what we did. We, we tested both sides of that range and um, resolved ourselves to the downside breaking support. Now overnight, we're doing the pump up in the futures. Overnight, the futures almost immediately started to rally um, after the close yesterday, pumping us back up and trying to give us an impression that really nothing is wrong. You know, there's that old saying out there that we have to be a little bit cognizant of in a market like this. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. And this market gap up, are we really going to rush in and chase this today? Um, or are we going to take a beat here and wait and see if we can actually get follow through this morning to the upside? Now, remember this bearish engulfing candle really doesn't play out. It doesn't mean anything unless we were to follow through today. If we had a follow through today to the downside, that would certainly start raising some technical challenges here in the chart. But overall, if we take a look at the Dow, holding up in this area, I don't think we've really broken down here. There certainly is reason for concern. There's reason for that uncertainty, but we haven't really broken down here overall in this chart, holding up above our 50 day moving average. Certainly could be uncomfortable, certainly could be challenging because of these big point swings that we're whipping around. And by the way, we whipsawed in here multiple times during the day um, in the Dow, just really um, chopping people up here in, in charts. So be a little bit careful, maybe act just a little bit slower when um, running into a trade. And if you have profits in a trade, consider taking those profits quickly the way the market is acting. Let's take a look at some other things in here that raise a little concern, but nothing that says run for the door yet. Let's take a look at the SPY. First off, SPY left behind a bearish and candle. 
but as I mentioned yesterday, I don't think we're going to have too much trouble unless we break down through that support. We did not do that here in the SPY. Certainly a bearish engulfing candle adds in a little bit of concern, but what we need to recognize is that we're just in a wide range consolidation and this a big price swings back and forth in here that cre can create an awful lot of uncomfortableness in your account and chop you to pieces if you're not careful. Um, and then we're gapping back up this morning as if nothing happened at all here. So overall, I think we still have to give this up to the bulls. The trend is still in there, but we certainly have that uncomfortableness here in the market that we're going to have to decide how each one of us are going to address that in the market. Be kind of careful um, racing back in first thing this morning. Let's take a look at the queues. Now the QQQ finally saw some selling yesterday, but overall acted like nothing was happening here. However, there is a little bit of a challenge here in this chart that's kind of interesting. If you look at this on an intraday chart, we have developed a little bit of a downtrend on that intraday chart. Kind of an interesting thing, and as we're trying to push through and push back up, um, some interesting challenges here are being faced. So we really need to pop out of there um, to probably gain some confidence here in the market. So watch that closely. But once again, we really haven't broken down to a point that would cause a lot of fear in the market, cause a lot of problem. But we will want to watch this um, area right here. If we continue to run up there and bounce and fail right in that area, that could raise some concerns here in the market. Technically speaking, that little pullback candle no problem whatsoever in that candle. There's no fear or anything coming up in that. Then let's take a look at IWM. Now IWM, pretty interesting chart here as we continue to try just force this market by will um, back up is kind of interesting. If we take a look at um, um, this chart, big old bearish engulfing candle, we have three Big old um, whipsaw reversals failing at the failing at that 50-day moving average in the chart. Once again, we're trying to pop it back up and pretend that's not there. So keep an eye on that. Those three failures there at price resistance should give us a little bit of pause in the market. And you know it'll be interesting, only interesting if this fails and pushes back down below those levels. And I can't say that's going to happen with the way the market is whipping all over the place. Now, let's take a look at our VIX. That VIX yesterday rallied pretty substantially. And even when we, um, even when we gapped up, we didn't really break down below that 50 day moving average. We're seeming to have a little bit of trouble here in the VIX and there is that uncertainty starting to creep up here in the market. So let's keep a close eye on that. We continue to hold this little upside trend. We certainly are not in major danger of a huge sell off because we haven't broken this upside um, resistance level in the chart. But there is a little bit of concern starting to happen here. And as we, we're trying to push through these resistance levels, we want to go up and hit new record highs, but we're not seeing that VIX fall. So that, that provides a little bit of, of an uncomfortable um, thing going on here in the market that we'll want to watch pretty carefully. Now, I've mentioned this before. I don't think this is become, going to become a real critical thing unless we break back above this 20 handle here in the VIX. That's a pretty big resistance area in the chart. If we were to break back above that and then hold that area as support, that could be a little bit of a problem. That's where some real selling might come in. So watch that closely, excuse me, watch that closely as um, we, um, challenge this resistance level in the chart. Now let's take a look at our T2122. T2122, the four week new high, new low ratio. We pushed up yesterday um, at the beginning of the day, we were pushing up and we were approaching this um, upper level. But then by the end of the day, here we are finishing down 
um, on the day. So what does that mean? Well, remember T2122 doesn't tell us which direction the market's going to go, just kind of gives us the eye of places where we have some pressure. So notice we're back down here in the mid range on T2122. If we can find bullish reason to push back up, we certainly have upside opportunity here in the chart. And we have to also notice that we have an equal opportunity to the downside should those bears find any reason to push to the downside. So just kind of keep a close eye on that and just realize that we are likely going to see um, a lot of humps and bumps, whipsaws, and wild price action as we head in through the end of this week with all of the jobs data and over 700 earnings reports throughout the rest of the week. So it's going to be busy, busy, busy. The market's going to have a lot to digest, and you could certainly understand how it could uh, end up with a little bit of heartburn as a result. Let's take a look at T2101. Now, T2101 interestingly enough just continues to fall we can't seem to get, gain any market breadth in either direction so gives you that little bit of hmm it, are we kind of running out of energy uh, remember markets will continue to go up until that last person that last person said that's been missing out finally jumps in from the pressure and then it's over now, I can't say that that's the case, and I don't know. Heck, we may go up for several more months. I don't know. But we always want to pay attention to that fact that um, when we start to lose some of that volume, we start to gain a little bit of uncertainty. Be a little bit careful as you approach the market. It's always smart to recognize that market condition and plan your trading carefully. If you've been getting chopped up in this market, then it, the market is telling you to back off a little bit. Back off, protect yourself, don't risk your capital if you don't have an edge in the market. And I'll tell you honestly, I don't feel with the kind of whipsaws and things that we have here, I personally don't feel like I have much edge in the market other than just wild speculation and hopefully catch the right trade. So be really, really careful here. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. And our economic calendar doesn't have a whole lot for us to worry about here today. If we take a look, we've got motor vehicle sales um, here this morning and we've got factory orders. So not too much on that um, economic front to really um, give us a lot of problem. We do have a Fed speaker here later on today. But let's keep in mind as you're planning forward, we've got the ADP number tomorrow morning before the market opens. So kind of keep that in mind. That is a potential market mover. We're going to follow that up with international trading goods and jobless claims on Thursday. And then the Mac Daddy of the week is going to be the employment situation number um, before the market opens. So a lot of jobs data coming our way that could move us around pretty substantially. If we combine that with the about 700 companies that are reporting earnings over the next oh, several days, um, we, have, we have a recipe for quite a little bit of volatility in the market. And you can understand that when that volatility um, uh, creeps up, um, it, it can be very, very challenging to trade. That being said, let's take a look. We have um, well over 200 companies reporting today. Let's take a quick look at some of those. I'm going to move through some of these pretty quickly that will be reporting today. Uh, um, and so these will be something you want to keep an eye on. But make sure if you want the full list of notables to click that link just below the title of the video. That'll take you back to the morning blog and you can ha get my full list of notables uh, for today. Let's take a look at ATVI. ATVI will be reporting today. This has been pretty ugly and we saw news last night that China... Chinese government has come out and basically said online gaming is um, like um, opium for the brain, um, being very derogatory about it. And um, we saw um, gaming stocks um, are starting to suffer here just a little bit as a result. And we're looking a little bit lower here this morning on Activision. Take a look at BABA. 
Baba will be reporting today. Now, Jim Cramer came out yesterday and said that it is the height of irresponsibility to be buying into uh, Chinese stocks, that there's going to be an awful lot of volatility in these. I don't know if he's right, but um, the point is there is quite a little bit of danger as China continues to do its thing over there, creating lots of volatility in these stocks. So watch that carefully. We're also going to hear from um, 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 BP. Now, BP reported already this morning. They reported great results. That's perking back up. That Hopefully, that will help that oil index that um, or that energy index that saw some uh, little bit of technical damage yesterday. We're going to hear from Clorox. Clorox, woo! Water slide event right there, um, uh, falling off of a cliff. CLX, um, ugly this morning. How about ConocoPhillips? ConocoPhillips reporting today, a um, little bit of, well, go nowhere here. There's the pre-market candle, at least at the moment, on ConocoPhillips. We have some hotels. HST will be reporting and we'll hear from Hyatt today. Um, we're going to hear from Lyft today. Keep an eye on that chart. We're also going to hear from a Ralph Lauren. We're going to hear from NKLA. Okay, so keep an eye on those charts. And last but not least, um, Under Armour reporting today. Looks like we're getting a little bit of a boost in the old Under Armour. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if you can do me a quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you can be notified every time I post one of these videos. You know, the purpose of these videos are not to provide hype or prediction. They're, they're truly meant to look at the technicals of the charts and try to decide how we want, might want to approach the market for the day and if you find that to be helpful please click those thumbs up buttons leave those brief comments it's that engagement with the video that makes the difference in the algorithm showing these videos to more folks and if you could also click that share button and share these videos out on um, your social feed that helps a lot as well and thank you to everyone who does take the time to do that I truly truly appreciate it also um, thanks to everyone who's been taking advantage of the buy me a coffee link below the title of the video you'll see that link um, those folks that are not members of right way options and and those are a lot of folks are supporting the channel that way and I just want to say thank you so much huge shout out to you, you guys humble me every day thank you very very much Let's take a look at um, some of these stocks setting up. And, but before we do that, I want to point out some a little bit of weaknesses that may raise a little bit of concern and, and also bring in that little bit of uncertainty. Let's take a look at the financial sector, XLF. Now, XLF yesterday shot up. We had a lot of buying energy first thing in the morning, shot up and then reversed. And that's leaving a little bit of a technical problem here in the chart. That big old shooting star type candle uh, failing at the 50 day moving average. Notice that that 50 day moving average is rolling over. So we need some serious energy here in those financials to perk us up. And there is a little bit of concern here. So you could potentially be looking um, in that area of the financials to see if you can find some long trades or some short trades that could be setting up. One for a long might be Morgan Stanley. Morgan Stanley is held up really well, showing lots of strength. But then if we look at a stock like BAC, Bank of America, it's actually setting up as a potential failure short, running right into its downtrend and that possible uh, move that we could seek out that 200 day moving average here in BAC. So a little bit of both on that side. Now let's take a look at energy. If we take a look at energy, whoops. If we take a look at energy, energy is in a very similar situation where we shot up yesterday, we tried to get a lot, of, a lot of energy going, and we've got BP reporting and ConocoPhillips reporting today, trying to uh, give us a little boost in that arena. But notice this ugly little failure here where we tried to push through, couldn't do it. 
And I got to tell you guys, I think there is a high probability that we continue to engage this downtrend in this chart and energy could be sinking toward that 200 day moving average. So you may find some short trades in that um, energy sector if that continues to happen. And please keep in mind that we're also having those fears creeping up of our recovery starting to slow down. And if that is the case, then we would probably expect energy to pull back a bit. So watch that closely. Let's take a look at some other charts that could be setting up. And remember, some of these um, are not recommendations to buy or sell. You should always do your own due diligence on these charts and watch them very closely. As you guys know, we trade a pattern we call the round and bottom breakout. The round and bottom breakout is um, a very productive pattern and a stock that came up in here is a two times bear on um, um, oil and gas. And notice this is the round and bottom breakout pattern broke above the 50 uh, day moving average resting in here holding that area as support you can see yesterday putting in that nice little hammer pattern now this needs to follow through on this but keep an eye on that um, drip actually showing us that potential short here in the chart you might also want to keep a, an eye on rwm we know that iwm has been really really challenged here um, and if, if IWM continues that failure um, um, along that line, notice that we have a rounded bottom breakout pattern here in RWM, which is the inverse of IWM. And we're holding that 50 day moving average, that rounded bottom breakout starting to happen in RWM. So keep an eye on that. Other stocks that you might want to take a look at that really performed pretty well yesterday overall. Take a look at Peloton. Um, I've been talking about Peloton here for a while and Peloton saw a nice little surge back to the upside. Now we still have a significant level of price res resistance in that chart that we need to break through but it's trying. It's trying to make that up um, look a little bit better so keep a keep a close eye on that may have some opportunities to move there now we saw some of those defensive sector stocks pulling back a little bit yesterday with the rest of the market but overall i gotta say coke is holding in here really well coke looking pretty good i'd keep a close eye on this i think everyone can probably see the possibility that this could be a bit of a cup and handle type pattern and that upside opportunity could come along here in coke so keep a close eye on that you might also want to um, take a look at some of the uh, big retailers uh, take a look at costco um, costco continuing to just zoom up in this chart um, looking very very good uh, target um, holding up well now we had a little pullback yesterday a little bit of uncertainty coming in there but if it can hold this price support in here there's no reason why we couldn't hold that price support and if the bulls um, hold, continue to engage and then push on through to the upside keep in mind it's going to report on the 18th and oftentimes we see stocks rally towards earnings here lately so watch that closely in target another place uh, take a look at dollar general that has been really really strong here in this chart breaking through resistance levels blue sky above i would keep a pretty close eye on this as this rest resting here the last three days if we can find that energy that bullish energy there'd be no reason why that can't push on through to the upside so keep a close eye on that um, last one i'm going to mention here today is sq sq um, made a, an acquisition yesterday and it was really well received by the market notice that we pushed up here hard we pushed right into the resistance level of that chart so keep an eye on that if this kind of consolidates or rests up here against that level could build some energy to pop right on through and i wouldn't rule out the possibility that we could pull back and find another higher low before we make that move to the upside but i do think it's worth keeping sq on a list for a potential particularly if we can break out of here that's a big resistance level in the chart and a breakout of something like that can typically mean to a pretty good upside move so there's a few charts for you to, to take a, a look at today hey i want to wish you all a fantastic day please keep in mind i am just um, I'm exercising a little bit of caution here in the market and particularly on these big morning gaps. Let's make sure 
we get some follow through. Let's make sure before we race into the market that we actually see some buying showing up after the gap. So everyone take care, be safe. I want to wish you all a fantastic day of trading and we'll see you right back here bright and early Wednesday morning for that ADP number. Take care everyone.